morning everybody so we have had a really slow um start this morning it's now 10 o'clock and i've only just come downstairs we have a family meal to go to today back in essex with hubby's uh nan and family so that will be really nice because we haven't done that for quite a while i think it's been over a year now because people have just been ill and we're finally getting there today so um p1 isn't coming with us unfortunately because she's got a party of her best friend and she didn't want to miss it we gave her the choice whether she wanted to come with us for the meal or to stay here with uh, my mother-in-law and my mother-in-law is kindly going to take her to the party and like keep her at her house and stuff like that so that's really nice she made her decision it's her best friend so it would have been a shame if she'd missed it just for like a, a family meal which can be done at any time really but you know so yeah that's all we're doing today so it's 10 o'clock we're just waiting p1's gonna get picked up any moment and then i'm gonna go and get showered and ready but it the girls don't wake up like till 7 7 30 anyway so it just feels really nice uh chilled saturday morning aren't you too pretty today no we aren't we aren't the same no but you're both flowery so for once we're ready early there's no rushing about we've got everything as far as i'm aware uh apart from one of our children obviously where are we going girls we're not going on holiday or jumping where are we going um, see nanny jackie see nanny jackie at the cafe Yeah, the, the sun is shining but it's actually pretty chilly so I might have to go and get my coat if we're out here for much longer uh, but we're just waiting for family members to arrive we're always early for everything always first it's just how we are we're about half an hour before the agreed time so we're just gonna wait the kids are playing in the little park here and then we're gonna go in and have some food and I'm starving I didn't have breakfast so that I could have the meal and like not feel so stuffed home now we were literally in the restaurant for about four hours the service was really slow the food was really nice though and the company was really nice as well I am pretty stuffed I don't think we'll be having like any sort of food from now it's uh, about quarter past seven we're just gonna wait until P1 gets home and then put the other two to bed because they're really really tired there was like an indoor play area um, and an outside play area so the kids were literally just playing the entire time which was really great um, and then obviously sitting down for food which was, was really relaxing actually so yeah we're just gonna wait for P1 to come home and then it'll be bedtime so I'm going to leave the vlog here today and potentially turn this into a weekend Bye. vlog see you later pardon who's making you angry Oh dear.
morning everybody so please excuse the crazy hair um it is now quarter to ten the clocks went forward today so i lost an hour which i wish someone had told me that was happening before i went to bed after midnight last night so i lost a day uh, an hour and also it is mother's day today so who decided to put that on mother's day i have no idea um, Mother's Day is just like a normal day as you've seen, I've put washing on, I've done a poopy nappy, I've done a workout, cooked breakfast and now I'm going to sit down and try and do a little bit of work, so just a normal cleaning Sunday for us I'm afraid. You've got chocolate on your, on your face? No, did you have a look? Get away from get away from <laughs> take it yeah. off. Oh. We'll take it all that way. Right? Get me. Get me. Oh. You got a cold? Are you poorly? Great. That's all we need. So I've just stripped the kids beds upstairs and put the next load of washing on. It's now half eleven and I've also put some jacket potatoes in the oven. I'm trying to eat a bit healthier. I mean jacket potatoes aren't that healthy because they're carbs but um, I'm doing like a mini jacket potatoes not full big ones so um, theoretically I'm eating less which is basically what I'm trying to do because over the winter period i think where i got really kind of down and just stayed indoors a lot we weren't really exercising and getting out and my legs are now huge like for me they're huge and after i had p3 i lost like initial weight but up, straight after i'd had her i was like seven stone four which for me on the, on the bmi scale which i know that doesn't sound a lot but i'm four for eight well four, four foot seven and a half and on the bmi scale being seven stone like four puts me actually slightly above the normal weight range and I don't want to be there I want to be kind of the lower end of the normal weight ra weight range I obviously don't want to be underweight um, but I definitely don't want to be nearly classed as overweight um, and I am very 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 limp on close on that limit um, and my belly I am not happy with at all and my legs as well are just huge i mean they never used to touch and now they do which i know it's like not the end of the world i mean my body has carried three children and i should be proud of that but i really have let myself go and it's not good because i'm so small i need to be slimmer and i feel better when i'm slimmer as well um but i'm not happy i'm really not happy so i've done two kind of mini workouts today trying to eat a bit better um which is really hard when you have these staring at you biscuits and a whole drawer full of chocolate and stuff so yeah I'm trying my best to stay away from that trying to keep busy um, I've had porridge which has actually filled me up and I didn't finish it all at all so that's good and we've also got HelloFresh so we've actually been eating a little bit better and more vegetables than I've ever had in like a whole week and this will be our second week in a row that we've got HelloFresh coming so that's quite good so yeah that's basically where we're at at the moment showered now and i've changed the girls beds covers put their fresh ones on um p3 keeps saying she wants to go to bed but she's not actually sleeping i tried to get her to sleep about half an hour ago or even an hour ago actually more than that maybe um and she just refused to but she's asking to go back to bed now so we'll see i've got to fold some more washing so killing two birds with one stone Back 
are screaming, aren't we, Bubba? I don't like it when you cry. Stop crying. It's Mother's Day. Stop crying for nothing, hey? I'm grumpy. Look at that sad face. Hey? That's enough for now. Let's get your food. Yeah? Let's get some food. No. Oh dear. It's now quarter past ten. I've put the kids to bed ages ago, but I ended up laying there. A P3 wasn't going to sleep because obviously she had her nap quite late in the afternoon today. Eventually she went to sleep and then I just kind of sat and watched YouTube videos at the end of her bed on my iPad with my earphone, earphones in kind of lost track of time and then realised that my husband was sitting downstairs on his own all afternoon, uh, all evening so yeah, it's ten past ten now and I'm just going to head upstairs and go to bed really it's been a nice Mother's Day it's not exactly been any different to any other Sunday but um, I really enjoyed getting a couple of gifts actually I haven't shown you this one yet this one was made by P1, it's like I've got a flower and I'm pretty sure that says die mum. I'm not sure what that's what that's about, but yeah. So yeah, that's the end of my Mother's Day and thank you for watching. I have decided to put this as a weekend vlog. So I hope you enjoy it and I will see you soon.